So now when we have our navigation, let's make sure we have linked valid routes to those links and make sure they are actually working. So you can see that we are missing route names for each of the links. So we're going to name this one welcome. And the second one will be about. Now let's get back to the navigation view and simply use the route function to define the route name. Okay, let's now make sure that they are working. Okay, and you can see it works, but there is no any indication on which page we are currently. So, you know, when I click on the about page, you know, it's not highlighted or anything. So, that's the next thing we are going to do now. So, we actually need to check on which route the user is currently, so we can highlight that that navigation item. So, I'm going to type here request, so we are dealing with the request package and we want to get the route function and then we want to get the name. Okay, so and we want to make sure that this get route is equals to welcome. Now, and if it is, we are simply going to display this text in the red color, for example. So we are going to use this style attribute, which is equals to color red. Okay, and if it's not, if the route name is not welcome, then simply do nothing. And we are going to copy and paste the same code for the second navigation item, but in this case it's going to be about route name. And we have typo here, it's actually style. And let's take a look. And as you can see, it automatically worked. As I refresh the page, let's check the about page and as you can see it works as well. So let's take a look at what we did here. What we just did is a shorthand PHP if and else. Basically we are getting active route name for the user checking if it's equals to T route name from the navigation and if it's true we are going to append the red color on it and if it's not well we are doing nothing in that case.